Hi guys, Dr. Hardy here, your pediatric obesity expert. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about bananas. So many people who have been on a lifestyle journey, a lifestyle change, may have noticed that you know there may have been um, certain disclaimers about bananas and that's probably because banana has a high carbohydrate content it has about 26 grams of carbs in one banana if you saw my video on pineapples i think i said pineapples had about 21 22 um, grams of carbs so a pineapple is much sweeter and yet has um, smaller, a little less, um, you know, amount of carbs in it compared to a banana. And also with a banana, it's very low in protein and fat. So um, it's something that you don't want to eat um, without other things to make your snack balanced. So I would say, yes, balance your snack. Um, add something that's high fat, maybe an egg and then a banana or some nuts and a banana um, to balance it out and get a little bit more um, from your diet, uh, more nutrients. I mean, everybody knows, well, I think a lot of people know, I can't say everybody knows, that bananas have lots of potassium. So if you have low potassium, that's great. You might wanna have one every day. Some people who are on certain diuretics, the doctor might tell them to take a banana or eat a banana every day so you always want to follow your doctor's guideline but in general if you don't have low potassium if you don't have um you know some kidney issue that is restricting you um from having potassium so this is like general information for someone who is healthy and doesn't have a kidney problem or is not on a diuretic you would not want to eat like bananas all through the day so you know like you might go shopping you have a cluster of bananas in the kitchen and like by the end of the day they're all gone you may have been just it's convenient you know it's ready made convenient it tastes good so you just may find yourself just getting another banana and another banana and that's something you don't want to do you don't want to have um, too much potassium and you don't want to have that many carbs in a day so if you're eating too many bananas, that's going to cause a major carb, glucose, sugar, those are all pretty much synonymous um, overload. And it's going to cause your blood sugar to spike. It's going to overwhelm the gland in your body that controls blood sugar and can eventually lead to um, prediabetes, diabetes, and weight gain. So, you know, People can't wrap around their head around uh, the concept that um, eating too much of even something that might be good for you can cause harm. But yes, too much of anything can cause harm. I always say too much oxygen can cause harm, right? So, um, you know, I am a pediatrician and we do resuscitations on newborn babies, meaning giving them CPR. And we have to be careful of the amount of oxygen that we're giving, although they need oxygen because it can cause um, damage to the tissues in their eyes and their lungs. So that's a great example. Like too much of anything, too much water can cause problems. Okay. So if you are eating bananas in excess, it can cause problems. Some people that eat too many bananas end up presenting with nutrient deficiencies because they're filling up on a food that doesn't have a lot of nutrients. And so they're not making room for certain foods like higher fat, healthy fat foods or iron. You know, some people may have like an iron deficiency because they're just eating bananas all day. So you want a balanced meal to make room for all the nutrients that your body needs. You don't want too much of one nutrient and not none of the other. So I do recommend um, watching your intake of um, bananas, eat it in moderation, maybe, you know, no more than one to two a day. Um, as long as you're getting all your other food groups in there, other green vegetables, other fruits, protein, fat if you have a you know a variety of different foods in your diet you should not have a problem 
but especially with the elderly, you know, who may not be able to cook as much as they used to. Um, they may eat more canned foods or bread, you know, toast and tea and a banana, you know, very, um, you know, um, foods that are not nutrient dense, just, just very shallow, uh, have a very shallow diet, um, will present with a lot of deficiencies. So I really hope this helps and I will see you guys in the next video.